Hi. This is going to be a bit of a different video because I'm going to talk about something that I haven't really talked about before in any of my videos. And that's the dark side of self study. There is a dark side to it. Before we talk about that, though, let me just really get it out there that I'm a huge fan of self study. I believe in self study. I've learned a lot of mathematics through self study. And I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an optimist. I believe you can learn anything through self-study. I really believe it's possible. Given enough time and effort, anyone can learn on their own, right? It, it's possible. It just takes time. It takes some people more time than other people. But it's possible. I believe anyone can do it given enough time and effort. So what is the dark side? What is the con to self-study? Because if it was so great everyone would do it. I mean, no one would go to college. I mean, the, the reason colleges and schools exist are to teach people certain subjects. So if self-study was so easy and it was so great, then these colleges and universities would not exist. The first thing that's really difficult about self-study is that it makes you feel stupid when you don't understand. You pick up a book, you try to read it, and maybe you understand 60, 70% of what's in the first three pages and you just have this lost and confused feeling and you don't know what's going on. And maybe you manage to get through that first section, not even chapter, maybe section, maybe five, 10 pages, you get through it and you get to the exercises and you can't do any of the problems, right? So that feeling of, I'm not good enough, I can never learn this on my own, makes you feel stupid. So you have to overcome that. You have to overcome that dark side. And I think the easiest way to do that is to realize that it's very difficult, right? Self-study is really, really challenging. There's tons of videos, I've made a few myself, where I give like, you know, a game plan. Like this is what you do in order to study. Here are the steps you can follow to get better at math or calculus or algebra. Here's some good books you should check out. But it's easier said than done, right? When you sit down with that book, it's it's painful, right? It's hard, it's difficult. So you just kind of have to accept the fact that it's going to be difficult. I think when you sit down with a math book or any book, doesn't matter what you're learning, and you have the expectation that, hey, I'm gonna have some challenges here. This might be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. I'm not gonna let it make me feel stupid. If you go into it with that attitude, I think you're gonna have a better experience, you know? As a concrete example, let's take abstract algebra. You pick up an abstract algebra book, I think the one by Sarocino is great, by the way. You go outside with your little notebook and a pencil, and you slowly read it, and you try to work through the proofs and examples, just like the author does in the book. You're gonna learn a lot. You might not understand everything, but you're gonna come out better for doing it. And when you get stuck, just remind yourself, it's hard for everyone, right? If self-study was so easy, if it was so easy to learn on your own, schools would not exist. So don't let it make you feel stupid. Another problem with self-study is you can't focus. And the reason you can't focus is because you have too many ideas. And this is one that I still struggle with all the time. I mean, look at all of these books back here. I have so many books. And so the more books you have, the more choices you have. And now with the internet, there's videos. So there's like endless resources online. There's courses you can buy. There's courses you can take for free. There's websites you can go to. There's YouTube videos. There's just so many resources. And so it's really easy to wake up in the morning and say, oh, today I wanna to learn this. Oh no, instead I wanna learn this. And what happens is you get in like this loop where you have all these ideas racing through your head and you just can't nail it down. You can't figure out which one to focus on. It's good to have choice, but I feel like because we have so many choices in today's society, it's really, really hard to like stick to a game plan. So how do you combat that? Well, my advice would be check out a video. You know, there's lots of videos on the internet that give you, you know, one or two or three specific books. 
and just do it, right? Pick, pick a game plan and do it because it's really, really easy to sit there and like over plan everything and then actually never get anything done. Believe me, I have tried that with self-study. I have written down like a game plan, like I'm going to read this, this, and this. And then after that, I'm going to read this, this, and this. Do I ever do it? No. The best moments where I'm the most productive when it comes to self-study are the ones where I actually just spontaneously say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go outside and I'm going to sit in the backyard or back patio or whatever you have that's outside and I'm going to read a book for 45 minutes. So don't get frustrated. Don't get into that loop of too many ideas. Pick a game plan and just do it. This last one that I want to talk about is really, really dark, but it's really easy to avoid. And it's that self-study can leave you feeling lazy and unmotivated. That's right. It can actually make you feel worse if you don't do it. So let's say that you're ready to self-study. You have decided, hey, I'm ready to jump into this. I know it's hard. I can do it. I've gone online. I've watched a video. I've bought three math books and I'm ready to go. And then you just can't get yourself to do it. So that makes you feel lazy or unmotivated. And I really think that that is not a valid feeling. I think that the fact that you as a person, you're even thinking about self-study, you're even thinking about buying a math book and reading it on your own, you know, on a weekend, on a Saturday night with a candle or, you know, a fireplace or anything, right? It helps to have a really cool ambiance. But the fact you're even thinking about self-study, I think is huge. So I don't think thinking about self-study and then not acting on it makes a person lazy. So sometimes we're just having a lazy day. I can't tell you how many times I've planned to study X, Y, Z, and I haven't done it. I remember one summer I told myself, I'm going to teach myself functional analysis this summer on my own. And I bought the book by Kreisig and I was really excited. And I downloaded a bunch of like practice questions from some school's website that had no solutions, unfortunately, but that's just how it is, unfortunately. And I told myself I would do five proofs a day every single day for the entire summer. Did I do it? No. Did I feel like I was lazy and unmotivated because I didn't do it? Yes. Was it a good decision? No. So don't do what I did. So if you make all these plans for self-study and you don't do them, don't feel like a failure. Don't feel lazy. Don't feel unmotivated. It's okay. You know, think about this. Think about the number of people. Like if you just go out in the world to Walmart or any just, you know, big store where everyone goes. I'm using Walmart as an example because most people go to Walmart. And you look at the number of people in there. How many of them are even doing calculus, right? So the fact you're even thinking about self-study, the fact you're even thinking about learning calculus on your own or algebra or abstract algebra or real analysis, the fact you're even having these thoughts, I think is huge. I think it's great. And you should keep having those thoughts, even if you never act on them. Because you know what? Someday you might. Someday you might go online, you'll buy that book, and you'll start reading it and you'll learn some mathematics on your own or whatever subject you're trying to learn. So don't let your inaction make you feel bad. Don't let it make you feel lazy or unmotivated because you're not. In my opinion, the fact you're even thinking about it is absolutely huge. It's really, really awesome. So you see, self-study does really have a dark side, but it can also be really beautiful. You learn a lot and the things that you learn on your own will stay with you for a long time. I remember almost everything I've self-studied, okay? Almost everything. I remember teaching myself field theory. That was a big one for me because I had never learned anything about fields. And here I was in graduate school in a graduate level abstract algebra class, and I had to learn field theory. So I picked up a book on abstract algebra, the one by Beachy and Blair, and I read that book. I read all the sections on polynomials, all the sections on field theory, and I learned it, right? So it's possible. It is possible to self-learn. It is possible to self-teach mathematics. It's certainly a difficult road, but I do think it is a little bit more rewarding. When you learn something on your own, you feel good about yourself. You know, you can take a class 
and you can get an A and you can feel great. Maybe you'll even get the highest grade in the class. That always feels really awesome. Or maybe just an A or a B is good enough. Or maybe even a C. Maybe that's your standard, right? C's get degrees, right? D stands for diploma. No, no, it doesn't. But the point is, self-study is greater than that because it's something you did on your own, right? You were able to pick up a book, read it, do some problems, and actually learn some mathematics on your own. And that is awesome. And that translates to other fields too. My, my greatest accomplishment when it comes to self-study was actually programming. I taught myself how to program with just a GED, with no college education. And I think that was pretty good. And to me, that was a big deal. Don't let the dark side of self-study hold you back. Don't let it make you feel stupid. Don't let it make you feel like you can't focus. Don't let it make you feel lazy or unmotivated. You're better than that. Go learn some mathematics. Good luck.